So, fractions are hard enough as it is. How do, what's the best way to learn them? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I have been teaching college math for nine years now, and fractions aren't the easiest thing to get along with or to learn, but here's some ways that, uh, as long as you can relate to them, learning fractions can actually be pretty straightforward. Now, some of the most practical examples include this. Money is a great way to introduce and learn fractions. Take, for example, a dollar bill. Dollar bill, five dollar bill, ten dollar bills, they're all examples of whole numbers, which a lot of folks already have a strong understanding of. But if you take coins, especially currency, whether it be pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels, etc., explain this to the students that all those coins represent a fraction of a dollar. So for example, one quarter, 25 cents, is 25 over 100, which reduces to one fourth. A dime is 10 cents, 10 cents out of 100 cents, or one tenth. So you can definitely use coins as a way of learning fractions in a fairly easy way. A lot of us also relate to food. If you take a pizza, a pan pizza, a pan of lasagna, pies, you can divide those foods into many different pieces and explain to them before slicing anything that everything is whole or everything is one whole. And then any splitting of the food, if you slice a pie in half, a pizza into, th into three pieces, each piece will represent that of a fraction, whether it be one half if you split it in two, one fourth if you split it in four, or one seventh if you slice something into seven pieces. So each individual piece represents a fraction, as will other pieces. Last but not least, use basic geometric shapes to learn fractions. As long as they're basic shapes, whether it be a parallelogram, a rectangle, or a circle, you can take any shape using a rectangle as an illustration and break it up into as many pieces as you want. If you break it up into two pieces that are equal, you have one half and one half. If you break it up into four pieces, each piece will represent one fourth. But basically, if you use the basic geometric shapes and divide the shapes accordingly, it's also a fairly convenient way to learn fractions. So, I'm Jimmy, and I provided you some tips on how to learn fractions.